What's up, guys? Welcome. There we go. We got some people. Hiya. Uh, hey, Mel. How you doing? Aaron, set your reminder. All good. Nice, guys. Welcome. Um, what I want to talk to you about. Hey, Haley, how are you doing? Welcome to the show. So <clears throat> I want to take 45 minutes, maybe 30 minutes, maybe an hour, depending on, on, on how many questions there are of your valuable time to break down the elusive 24 hour plus one rule. Um, I just want to take you through uh, the actual rules and break them down and hopefully make them more clear. Um, so you don't end up in Facebook, you don't end up in Facebook jail. And the reason why I'm doing this live for you guys is because what we've seen, <clears throat> what we've seen in the last couple of months, <clears throat> sorry, what we've seen in the last couple of months is that a lot of pages got shut down and not to say your page gets shut down, but you get your page gets flagged. You're not able to use uh, messenger ads anymore you are restricted to the number or not necessarily the number but you're restricted to the type of messages and the messages you put on your page um you get the ban hammer that that's what it is and there is always a way out there's always a way out of jail but the thing with this is if you or when you get banned and when you get reinstated the thing is that your page is flagged which means that your advertising costs for that specific page will go up there's nothing you can do about it it will just it will be a mess i mean that's just something you need to be aware of that it's not oh maybe i get banned once and then i get reinstated and i just move on like nothing happened that's just not how it is when you get banned your page is flagged and it will affect your ad account it will affect your page it will affect your cpms it's an all over mess and that stuff you cannot get, you know, the stuff you just cannot get back. So again, I'm gonna spend 30 minutes or so just to take you through, break down the 24 hour plus one rule, which is not that difficult. Um, and I'm here to answer any questions you might have and um, we'll spend as much time as actually necessary to get this, uh, to get this super clear. All right, people are just uh, coming in. That's good, man. What's up people, good to see you. Can you uh, drop me, um, can you just get a, okay, just wanna make sure that everybody can hear me, should be good. All right, guys, so the first thing is how to stay out of, how to stay out of Facebook jail is actually to read the manual. Read the freaking manual. I mean, that is what it is. The manual is about one page, only one page, and the URL is dropped right there. In, on the screen, you can see it right there, and it's called the Messenger Terms of Services. Do it, spend some time, go over it, and don't read it once, read it twice, read it three times, read it 10 times. I don't care how many times you read it, but read it. Take some time to read that fucking manual, uh, because it's pretty clear what's, 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 what's actually stated in there. Um, and, if you don't understand those rules or if you don't understand how it's how it's written and i need to say it is much better than it was about six months ago or even three months ago so they are iterating on those rules and and, and it seems to be that it's easier easier to read again read the damn manual and it will be clear if it's not clear come to the group come to the page come to me come to 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 al or tom anybody in the team and we will take all the time necessary to to clear this up for you hence why we're doing this live because we want to make you awesome messenger marketers that do not get banned that's our goal um we cannot guarantee you cannot get banned but the the yeah uh, aaron go on um i will drop it i will drop it later um i will share the slides with you as well so it should be in there um so do that just 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 do it keep it simple now that said is you have 24 hours so let let let's let's break down a 24 hour run 24 hour rule first of all cheers spots and beers i'm in beautiful portugal now i'm drinking a small portuguese beer um so cheers here's to your success um the 24 hour one 24 hour plus one rule tells you gives you the option to send free messages 
to anybody who is subscribed to your bot or is re-engaged. So as soon as a user subscribes to your bot, boom, that is the moment you have 24 hours to send them free messages. When a user re-engages, so an existing user, existing subscriber re-engages re -engages with your content, the 24-hour window is opened and you are allowed to send them free messages. That's just what it is. Don't overthink it. That's what it is. You have 24 hours to send free messages starting when the user subscribes or re-engages. Simple as that. Now, if a user does not interact with your messages 24 hours after your last message was sent, we have one option to re-engage that user, which is the plus one. So if you're sending messages, so the user subscribes, I'm gonna take Aaron here as an example. Aaron uh, subscribes to my bot, and that is when the 24 hour window opens. In that 24 hours, I can send as many messages Take that with a grain of salt because you don't want to spam Aaron. You have 20, you have 24 hours to send as, as many messages to Aaron as you want. Now, when Aaron interacts with my messages, with my conversation, hey, Jackie, welcome, with my conversation, the 24-hour window is reset continuously. So, and that is something that, that Facebook literally literally said during the ManyChat conference uh, two weeks last week in, in Austin. It's all about conversations, useful conversations. I forgot the actual name. Um, conversations that matter. And a conversation that matter, a conversation that is that a conversation is going both ways. So if I send messages to Aaron, who just subscribed to my uh, to to my uh, to my list and Aaron actually replies or responds, the 24 hour window moves on. Now, if Aaron, for some reason, doesn't reply to my messages because of my content is shitty, or I don't ask her any questions, and I'm just broadcasting instead of asking questions and wanting to have an actual conversation, then after 24 hours, that window is closed. Facebook gives me one option, to re-engage Aaron. That is the so-called plus one. It's that simple. It's that simple. Take it one step back or maybe two steps back. Think about this. It's all about conversations, conversations that matter. And a conversation is two people sending messages back and forth. So keep that in mind. Make sure that that actually, that, that, that clicks in your mind, a conversation is information going back and forth between two people. Could be three people, could be four people, I know, but it's messages going back and forth. So as long as your messages going back and forth between two people, your 24 hour window will just stay open. Your 24 hour window can stay open for weeks only when the user engages with your content, with your messages. So that is why it's crucial that you be genuine and you create content, ask questions that actually matter and, and, and are something your user subscribers want to reply to. So your plus one is use it or lose it. So use it wise. If the window is closed, you can use your plus one. And probably some of you have received my plus one messages. And I'm being a little bit cheeky and saying, hey, I'm using my plus one here to re-engage you or to invite you to this webinar. Now, if you use your plus one properly, if you use your plus one with the objective, and this is, this is the beauty of it all, and this is where it all comes together. If you use your plus one with the objective to re-engage your user, then you're using it properly. If you just use it to broadcast a message, whatever it is, where the, the user doesn't have any options to take an action or reply to, there's no question, then you lost it. Then you need to re, then the 24 hour plus window is closed. It's done. And you need to re-engage your users, subscribers, through one of the eligible messenger entry points. Well, we'll get to those later on. 
So when a user interacts with your content in the Messenger, in Messenger within the 24-hour window, the 24-hour window is, re is, is reset, like we said. Be genuine and create valuable content and ask binary questions in your flows. And binary questions, and this is, this came from the, the Manager Conference. Binary questions, I think it was Ryan Dice who actually said this from, uh, from uh, what's it called again? A digital marketer. Binary questions are questions that can be answered with yes or no. And think about that. You want to start a conversation or you want to keep a conversation going. So don't bullshit your subscribers. Guys, don't do it. I mean, we're marketers. We know how to bullshit. Don't bullshit a bullshitter, but be genuine. Create valuable content for your users and you can create content, valuable content for your users because during the flow and, and during the flows you create and and you should ask you should get that information from them who are you what are you doing what are your interests what are your what's your favorite color i don't care what you ask but you need to get that information in order to create and send broadcast whatever relevant information to your subscribers to keep them engaged and actually to get conversations going and and to get conversations going so ask binary questions be genuine and create valuable content for your users. It's not about quantity, it's about quality. So let's say um, I'm gonna take Aaron as, as an example here again. Aaron um, um, subscribed to my bots, he downloaded one of my lead magnets and we had a conversation. And um, then it stops, no problem, that happens. I mean, we're all busy people, it happens. I send Aaron an, uh, a plus one message. Or I'm going to invite her for this webinar. She does attend the webinar, but she doesn't reply or didn't click the link in the um, in the plus one message. So that way, Aaron is not eligible to send another plus one message because I already sent the plus one message, which she didn't reply to. So now. I need to re-engage Aaron and I need to re-engage my subscribers. So how do I re-engage my subscribers? Subscribers are re-engaged through only through the eligible messenger entry points. And I just I just wrote them down here and I'll, I'll get you these slides, guys. But these this is nothing new. I didn't sip a bit. I didn't think I didn't I didn't come up with these. These are just printed exactly like you see in this sheet on the Facebook Terms of Services page. A user can be re-engaged through those messenger entry points. What are those entry points? I'm just gonna read it out loud here. Person sends a message to a business. Person sends a message to a business. That means somebody goes to the Facebook page and they send a message through the, through the, 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 the call to action button, which is connected to messenger or Aaron, I'm gonna take as an example again. Um, Aaron, uh, easy, easy does it. A person starts a conversation with a business via a call to action button within a messenger conversation, such as a share attribution. Now, look at this slide, guys. I highlighted, I highlighted some, some, uh, some elements, some words there in orange. And Every sentence starts, every messenger entry point starts with person sends, person starts. Take some time to think about that. Person sends, person starts. So the initiative is always with the subscriber, not with us. The initiative is with the subscriber or prospect or whatever. So the person starts a conversation with the business via call to action button within a message of conversation, such so as your share attribution. Um, um, I yeah, today I send out a, uh, I set up a, uh, an, a campaign for a webinar sign up and in the webinar sign up, I use the card and in that card is like a, like a slide card, a carousel card. And in that carousel card, I enabled a share button because I want the users to share the card and uh, get other people to subscribe to the webinar as well. That is the share call to action button and see what happens. It is again, initiative is with the user. Now moving forward here, person starts a conversation with a business via plugin, such as the send to messenger plugin or the checkbox plugin. 
um, if you're not using it already, make sure that you put the Messenger plugin, which is in Messenger, it's a growth tool. And you can also enable it from your Facebook page, the Messenger customer service plugin, which is just a little chat bubble with the Messenger, you know, the, uh, the chat icon with the Messenger, chat bubble with the Messenger icon. <laughs> Crazy, um, which you can enable on your page so that users can reach out to you from your page wherever they are. So uh, you got a website visitor, clicks the button, opens Messenger, sends you a message, boom, the person started a conversation with the business. Now you can use the, the checkbox plugin as well. I'm using, I'm currently using the checkbox plugin on a uh, landing page, which I use to generate leads for, for one of our projects. It's a pretty cool tool, but I'll do a separate live on that to show you the results because the results weren't what I expected. Um, that said, no, it's actually there. That said, and I forgot to put it in the slide, those are all growth tools. So you can and should use the growth tools, whether it's the ref URL, the messenger checkbox, the slide in, the pop-up, the layover, whatever, to re-engage your users. Another strategy to re-engage your users, re-engage your subscribers is using the ref URL in email. Send an email, do you want to uh, get, this, uh, get this download, click here, user clicks the ref URL, goes into Messenger, boom, they re-engage themselves. Um, person starts a conversation with the business via an ad. Well, that, who would have thought? Who would have thought that Facebook would monetize Messenger? I didn't see that one coming. Um, but hey, ads. And then there's a difference between sponsored messages and Messenger as a destination. But we'll talk about that in a different life. But yes, of course, you should use ads to re-engage your subscribers, re-engage your users, but also for user acquisition. And then there's the so-called customer matching API. Um, if you don't know what it is, you can forget it. If you do know what it is, you probably know how to use it. I'm not gonna spend too much time on that now, but these are the eligible messenger entry points. If a user did not come through one of these, uh, uh, through one of these uh, entry points, they did not re-engage themselves. So what is the best way to get into Facebook jail? I just told you how to get out of Facebook jail or how not to get into Facebook jail, and that is be genuine, Keep your users engaged, use the Facebook Messenger entry points, ask binary questions in your flows to keep the conversation going, and uh, use the growth tools to re-engage people if they are outside of the 24 hour plus one rule, uh, plus one window. Now, there's also a way to get into Facebook jail. And to get into Facebook jail, you, uh, the best way to get in there is to start sending subscription messages to your list, without being eligible to send subscription messages. And if you read the manual, which I'm pretty sure, I at least hope you'll do, you'll see that subscription messages, you need to, uh, re you need to request access. Now you need to uh, um, be eligible to send subscription messages and you can request, you can uh, apply your page for subscription messages. So when you go to your Facebook page, you go to messenger settings, scroll all the way down, and that's where you can apply and, and get your page approved to send subscription messages. Subscription messages are only messages that can be sent to inform people about sports, weather, health, that kind of stuff. Just go to your page and you'll see it there. So the best way to get in Facebook Jail is just send subscription broadcasts to your list without being eligible to actually do so. Send sequences to your subscribers outside the 24 hour plus one window. Um, I know it's easy to set up those sequences in ManyChat and it's easy. I know Facebook makes it, you, you can do, you can send these, you can send these sequences. You can send drips day one, day two, day three, day four, day five. Now, what we just discussed, and now it comes back to, to, to a drip sequence. If a user doesn't um, interact with your messages, then the 24 hour window plus one is closed. And if you will send, if you keep set, if you will send the follow up, uh, the, the, the sequence, if your sequence just drips on and on and on without any interactions, you are violating terms of services because your users are not engaged. The 24 hour plus window is closed. 
Um, but you're still sending them those, those, those sequences. The way to fix this is in your second message in your sequence, and then all the third message and the fifth and the sixth and, and the whatever message, how, how big your sequence is, use conditional logic to filter out those people that actually filter out. Yeah, so use conditional logic. Sorry, Aaron, I was just reading your, um, your comment there. Do not pass, go, do not to go to collect. No, well, 200 bucks this is going if, to, if you get this shit wrong, it will cost you a lot more and your clients will hate you and, and you will get depressed. So it's not worth it. Just stick by the rules, read the fucking manual and, and be nice. Um, so what I was saying is you can use, when you use sequences, use them wise and use conditional logic to filter out people that did not interact with your messages in the last 24 hours and ignore the people that didn't interact. Ignore the people that didn't interact and only send that sequence, only drip that sequence to users that actually interacted with your previous messages. Now, and here it comes again to keep that audience, engage audience big enough, design your flows properly, design your flows so they are actually engaging. Ask those questions, tease people a little bit, interact with them, get these messages going, and then you then with the conditional logic that filters out people who didn't interact, that number should then be get smaller and smaller and smaller because you are designing your flows to be engaging to and engaging. That's what I wanted to say. Last one here is um, send a follow-up broadcast. Send a follow-up broadcast to your full list with segmenting. It should be, it should say without segmenting. So if you go into ManyChat, you can go to broadcast and you can send follow-up broadcast. Again, in my opinion, it's a bit of a, I'm not sure if it's a UX flaw, but ManyChat allow, gives you the option just to broadcast to your full freaking list. And let's say if you have 10,000 people on your list, and I see this post every freaking day in the in the ManyChat community, how big is your list? Yeah, I got 10,000 people. Oh, I got 20,000 people. I got 30,000 people. Look, I grew my list to 10,000 people in one day. Well, good for you. How are you going to keep them engaged? Because if you don't keep them engaged, and you send a follow-up broadcast to these people outside the 24-hour window, there's a good chance you will get banned because what will happen, people will start reporting you for spam. They will block your messages. And if that happens in large volume, your page gets flagged, your page gets flagged, and you risk the chance to get shut down. Again, this is it's not an exact science because you can still send follow-up broadcasts to people outside the 24 hour plus one window? Yes, you can. I just want you to be aware that the fact you can doesn't necessarily mean you should. And I want you to be aware that when you do it, you are violating terms of services because you're sending messages outside the 24 hour plus one window, simple as it is, and you could get banned. And I don't want you to wake up in the morning and, and, and open up your Facebook page and see the ban hammer message. And then you're like, oh fuck, what happened there? And then you need to go to your client or, your, or whoever you're, you're working for. Yeah, I'm sorry client, I, uh, I fucked up because I didn't know what I was doing. Now you know what you're doing. And if you have any questions about this, just reach out to me or the team, throw it in a group, whatever you, just reach out and make sure you get it. Now, there's a myth. And this is, this is one I see a lot. And I, also, I even see them with the big boys and the big girls, um, like the gurus and influencers, they say this. Yeah, but when I send a message to my list asking if they like cookies and they answer, then they are re-engaged, which will reset the 24 hour plus one rule, 24 hour rule, whatever. Not true. Absolutely not true. Remember the, the other slides where we saw the terms of service that said that the initiative should be with the user. Well, I can send the message to you outside the 24 hour plus one window, outside the window. Yes, I can. But that the fact that you then answer that message does not reset the 24 hour plus one rule. It just doesn't. Now, if we would turn this around and if 
uh, if a user, uh, let's say Aaron again, sends a message to me, to the page, asking me, hey, Rucker, do you like cookies? That will reset the 24 hour plus one rule because that is where the initiative is with Aaron sending a message to the page that will reset the 24 hour plus one rule. And from there, I have the 24 hour window to actually send uh, commercial messages and, and take it from there and build, build, uh, build report with Aaron from there. Now, that's it. That is the 24 hour plus one rule in a breakdown. Um, I created some notes for this with some links and everything. Um, so what you need to do to get them is if you drop a comment in the post on our page, so not in our group, I'm gonna share this link with you here. If you drop a comment on this post, uh, there it is then that will trigger who would have guessed it a messenger flow it's with the common growth tool you will then be re-engaged so i can send you messages for the next 24 hours and then i have one to actually uh, re-engage with you if you didn't reply to it that will get my notes um if drop it like it's hot you know how you know how we roll Haley. i met Haley for the first time in uh, so we did a live a while ago, I think two weeks ago, three weeks ago, about the messenger scan code, which was awesome. And then I saw Haley in real life in uh, in Austin, Austin, Texas, which was awesome, wasn't it, Haley? Um, click the link, drop a comment, and then it should work. If for some reason the common growth tool doesn't work, which happens, oh, I got a backup plan. I got a plaque like, backup plan for that, guys. You can also click this link, which is just a, just a simple ref URL. That is, uh, let me see, is it posted? Guys, did you see the ref URL link I, I dropped in there? Yep, there it is. I can see it. I can see it. You can see it right there. So guys, uh, girls, guys, girls, uh, friends, lovely people, do you got any questions? I wish I could put, ah, I can even bring guests into the broadcast from the lobby, who be nice. Aaron, you got a question? What if does not sound possible? Someone wants to subscribe to subscribe to weekly updates. That will be um, uh, you need to you need to request you need to request access on your page to do that. Uh, comments not hyperlinking. Comments not hyperlinking. Well, well, maybe could you then uh, just copy it and drop it in your browser, or just well that was Plan B. So the link was Plan B. Um, Drop a drop a comment in this post. Oh nope, you're just watching. Cool, Eric. Um, so it should work if you drop it in this post. Uh, drop a comment in this post. I'm gonna. So Haley, sorry, going, coming back to your question is you should to be on the safe side. You should uh, apply for subscription messaging. So when you you need to go to your Facebook page, go to Messenger settings, scroll all the way down, apply for subscription messaging. And then read, just take five minutes or so to go through what is actually, what is eligible for that subscription messaging. That said, if a user actually asks for those weekly updates and you stick to weekly updates, the thing is, and this is my take on it. So this is not verified, 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 verified by Facebook, but as long as, as your users don't complain, uh, get spam reports or or stop blocking that kind of stuff you are good but i just want you to be aware that if you do send broadcasts whatever th that i want you to be aware that i would just want you to be aware that it's if if it's outside the 24 hour window that you are aware of it and um, you make a you, you make a decision to do so instead of not being aware and then, um, yeah, you, you you get the chance to get banned. I hope that makes sense, Haley. Uh, 
Um, any other questions? Comments on hyperlink now. Could you? Um, does it work when you uh, get to the post? Drop a comment there. Okay, guys. If there are no questions, then I'm going to wrap this up. The how long does it take to get approved at page level? Good question. That could be fairly quick, but it could also be a hassle going back and forth because you need to uh, you need to apply with an actual use case. And I have seen it done quickly, like in the first take, and I've seen people do it five or ten times. Um, we have until December third to get our pages approved. Hey, Marco, what's up? You're late. Yeah, man, we're wrapping up, but um, uh, the the replay will be available. The re re replay will be available. I'm just gonna put this one here. So if you go to this post and drop a comment there, then you will get my notes. And as soon as you uh, get in that, uh, as soon as you get the notes, I will send them. Uh, I will send the sheets. I will send the sheets in the next uh, whatever. I'm probably going to send you the sheets tomorrow morning. That's all within the 24 hour plus one within the 24 hour plus one window. And um, if for some reason it doesn't work, guys, just uh, you know you know where to find me. Just send me a message, and I'll um, I'll get them uh, I'll get them to you. For now, I'm going to wrap this up. Marco, Haley, Aaron, Mel, um, whoever is here, Casey. Yeah, you're late, but again, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a um, uh, you're gonna get the recording. Um, I'm going to wrap it up. And again, if you have any questions, just make sure you reach out to us on the page or in the group, and then we'll get back to you there. For now, guys, have a good one. Thank you so much for your attention, and um, talk to you soon.